Here we go. Yo, I want this office. How cool... Okay, hear me out, guys. How cool would it be to have a streaming setup in an office like this where the camera literally captures, like, this? Huh? I'm trying to make it big on Twitch. Okay, literally, if I can make it big on Twitch and do voice acting and do podcasts and do all this kind of stuff, we can have... It, I'll get us a mansion like this. We'll have a castle. That would be really cool, though. Being a content creator inside of a castle in Montana. All right, gang. Note is written on the back. Oh, William. <clears throat> Some keys are missing. What if I go get the keys? Wait a minute. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Rifle acquired. Hamilton left everything to Henry. From his knowledge of their family history, Faubert had rather expected Hamilton to disown him. Despite everything, perhaps the father could never stop loving his son. Aww. We will see you Faubert next time. Faubert smirked as he spotted his phone number on the list. If only someone else had taken the job before him, he would still be in Montreal, sitting warm and comfortable in his car, taking pictures of some unfaithful spouse. Oh, yeah. Something's been moving here. The typewriter. That is the deal. Okay, so we got to go and get the thing from the typewriter. We need to get to the kitchen. Is that over here? Oh, it's down the basement. Uh, Where was the staircase for the basement again? Yo, I gotta type something out? So, okay. Um, trying, I guess, some names? Rochelle? Maybe Henry? Too long. It's how many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven. <coughs> Cynthia? Hmm. That was it. Okay. There were very few rules that private detectives abided by, but one of them was this. Behind back doors and complicated locks usually lay hidden the answers to your questions. This lock design was highly sophisticated. Hamilton had evidently paid a high price. What did he want to hide? And from whom? Alarming similarities with acute radiation syndrome. Up to that point, Carl had been unaware that Hamilton was ill. Alarming was the <clears throat> right word. Nothing about this document was reassuring. Hold on, what are they... Deep wounds related to severe contamination. They are... <clears throat> Wait, what? Few corporations had commercial ties with the government behind the Iron Curtain, and there was a good reason for that. What could this missed program be? Jeez, okay. Uh, let me just find a place with a fire... Let me just find a fireplace really quick. Wait, there's a key in here? I'm in the basement? 
secret key laboratory as it is a fireplace down here let me um Yo, that sound, man. Yo. Yo, whoa. Yo. Seriously, they did that? That is cool. All right, gang. We got the key. So let's go check out what's inside the lab. <clears throat> Makeshift lab made Carl feel uncomfortable. He couldn't help but imagine the grim experiments that had taken place there. The note implied that its author had studied <clears throat> the Mistonite. If he was still alive, he might provide some answers. Mistonite? <clears throat> Oh, so that pulls us towards the fragments. Wait, that's another fragment, right? We got two now. Where the heck does this go? The window goes scary. Absolutely. A shed. Si vous entendez ceci, ce message est crucial. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à l'abri. Ne sortez qu'en dernier recours. <coughs> si vous avez à sortir, armez-vous et méfiez-vous de quiconque porte les couleurs de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. Tenez-vous le plus loin possible de la faune. Les... So who are you? Oh, I got dialogue choices. Ah, oh, quelqu'un, enfin, vous m'entendez? Carl Faubert. Oui, votre nom me dit quelque chose. Très curieuse d'entendre ce que vous avez à dire. Si vous pouvez venir me rejoindre. On a établi un retour au nord avec d'autres survivants. Longez la bord du F du lac Lee jusqu'à ce que vous voyez un pied près d'une tour en bois. Le retour est proche. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à la bord. There's other survivors? Are we gonna meet like other NPCs? Si vous avez à son main agressé, je répète. Oh, we're here. No, okay, so wait a minute. Gas can. Oh! Right. <clears throat> Gas can. Boom. Okay. As he drove away right. from the mansion, <clears throat> Carl pondered the strange discoveries he had made there. The Hamilton Mining Corporation's true activities were shrouded in mystery. However, before he could uncover it, Carl had to reach the survivors at their Leech Lake shelter. <clears throat> okay. So the game's being bus broken up into sections. That's interesting. Fast travel. Hmm? Oh. Do I have a map? I do. Holy smokes. Wait, so there's a dock back here? Okay, that whistling is eerie.
<clears throat> Carl Faubert could recognize a love nest when he saw one. If Hamilton indeed had a mistress, this was the stage for their romance. <clears throat> uh, is that a shotgun? Oh, heck yeah. What kind of a big thing am I going to have to fight? Okay, actually, I got to say, look at, like, the lighting that's just shining off of the metal on the gun right there. Yeah, this game looks pretty stinking good. Wait a minute, I'm getting a little lost here. Where's my boat? Alright. Carl recognized the boat. Its occupants had forced him to dive into the icy water of the lake. But where were they now? Hmm. At the sight of the peaceful lake, Carl Faubert remembered the embrace of the icy water, its millions of tiny needles cutting into his skin. He was in no hurry to return. All right, we got another dock up here. Let's see if we can find out. <clears throat> here in the wooden tower, just as Carl had heard on the radio, the shelter must be close by. Let's see what we can find out. That eerie whistle, man. Somebody had a stash of goods up here. That's a lot of ammo. That must be the shelter. Or better. So a woman's radio message came back to mind. Survivors. Carl would finally get <clears> some <throat> answers. So it's locked from that side. So I have to go up and around. Hmm. Okay. The sight of this black bear immersed Carl Faubert in a distant memory. Happy images of blueberry picking came back to him, as well as the routine presence of this <clears throat> skittish female bear that his grandfather used to expel from his plantation with great angry gestures. I'm really curious to see how the later stuff in this game is going to play out. There was one thing I saw that I'm looking forward to. Uh, it was an accident that I saw it. I was not expecting to see a clip of this game on my Instagram feed, but there was. Okay, so I'm here. I need to keep going this way. You saw uh, on the bear. Could be, but that's only two shots. And I know there's something else worse out there than the bear. So I'm going to just uh, try, try to avoid using as much ammo as I can. Man. Oh. He knew that wolves do not attack people. Still, he had to be careful. I really don't want to kill you guys. So yeah, still let's go up this way and then to the right. What's the left though? That does not sound like a wolf howl. That is definitely something else. I do not have the card for, for that. Isn't that cabin up there too? Hey, was I mistaken or is there a cabin? Yeah. I gotta go around this way. Okay. 
I really don't want to use the rifle. I've only got five shots. You're kidding me! Froze at the creature's sight. Was it real? Or another figment of his imagination? What? No! I don't want to go through this again. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's that shelter? Up here? The detective sensed he had lost the creature. But for how long? Oh, no, 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 no. That was terrifying. Oh, uh, the hello, this hobble puppy. had an unforeseen effect on Fobert. It the idea of finding, after so long, the reassuring warmth of a group of human beings seized him. He was overwhelmed by it. Can I a pet you? Dog. This type of animal usually stayed in a pack. It was quite rare, especially this far north, to find them alone. C'est vous, Carl Faubert. Entrez. Je suis juste en arrière. Comme vous le savez, moi, c'est Françoise. Je suis la responsable ici. Il y a eu une explosion dans un souterrain à la mine et depuis, on a la tempête, des avalanches et plein de choses étranges auxquelles j'ai mieux ne pas penser. Les routes sont coupées et on n'a ni électricité, ni signal téléphonique. Bref, ça pourrait aller mieux. J'essaie de rassembler autant de civils que possible, c'est la priorité. Ensuite, je vais m'occuper des ressources. Si vous voulez vous rendre utile, tentez de rendre la maison opérationnelle. Jules Demers. Vous avez entendu parler de lui? C'est un scientifique qui travaillait pour Hamilton. Il est toujours en vie. Vous pouvez le trouver au nord-ouest d'ici, près des mines. Il étudie l'anomalie de la tempête. Si vous tenez à le rencontrer, je vous conseille de trouver de l'équipement d'escalade. C'est la seule façon de se rendre sans carte d'accès. Et puis, Carl? Wow! OK, that's interesting. <coughs> C'est une bonne maison. Les fondations ont de l'âge, mais elles sont encore solides. C'est quelqu'un dans les premiers survivants que j'ai trouvé qui en a parlé. Comme quoi, son emplacement et le terrain aux alentours, c'était parfait pour tenir à travers une tempête. C'était la maison de ses grands-parents et c'est devenu notre lueur d'espoir. La priorité, c'est de se protéger du froid. Il y a des vitres cassées et la boîte à fusible à l'extérieur ne fonctionne plus. Il faut aussi réparer le robinet dans la cuisine. On y arrive jusqu'à maintenant avec la neige fondue, mais au nombre de personnes qu'il y a ici, il nous faut de l'eau courante. Mmh. C'est un module central qui aurait sauté. Depuis, on voit des employés de HMC essayer d'en effacer les traces dans la région et on est pris dans une tempête inexplicable en plein mois d'octobre. Ceux qui essaient de partir se frappent au froid, à la désorientation. Ils se mettent à voir... Ils disent qu'il y a une présence dans les bois. C'est pas humain ni animal. Je veux même pas y penser. Il y a quelque chose qui erre à l'extérieur, une genre de créature qui tue avec une violence que j'ai jamais rencontrée. On retrouve des corps gelés partout et il y a des éclaboussures de sang dans la neige. Mmh. Hamilton n'était pas aimé ici. Sa mort m'a pas surprise. Je travaillais aux ressources humaines et je peux vous dire que même parmi ses employés, ses projets dérangeaient. Ça dépassait l'entendement. J'en connais aussi suffisamment sur lui pour vous confirmer qu'on faisait bien de s'en méfier. Hamilton creusait pour plus que du cuivre. Il y a des installations sous terre encore plus creux que la mine, des installations énormes. Mes accès étaient restreints, mais de ce que j'ai pu comprendre, HMC a découvert une nouvelle matière dans les années 50 et Hamilton a investi des millions pour l'étudier. Un nouveau minéral. OK, so that's what the whole deal is. Faites attention à vous, Monsieur Faubert. So, someone discovers a new mineral. Conversation, okay. Which wasn't like him. Uh, okay. Hamilton buys the mine, trying to find this mineral and everything. Interesting. All right, I 
soupe serait bien meilleure si elle était chaude. Si seulement on avait du courant. Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a wait a minute. That's the map of the first game right there. That's the entire area that we explored in the first game. Huh. Wait, so did Okay, how accurate of detail did they stick with this cuz that's the lake. Wait a minute. No, 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 hold on. How did that How did the first game go? We did all that. We did that area up there. We went up there. There's a valley up there, the mines, the refuge is where we are here now. Interesting. So wait a minute. If that's where the mansion is, then this is where the first game took place. I remember the this entire map right here. This is actually pretty accurate. Like we drive up this road and everything in the first game. And we explore this entire lake area. There's houses littered all around here. There's a small village and everything like that up here. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. I already spoke to her. Hey! Ooh, I was about to say, wrap around porch, huh? That's not gonna keep the cold out. Okay. Dang. Is that the bridge? Yeah, that is. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. I need more parts. Only got eight right now. Finish up the window. I need ten to finish up. Oh, put that away. Dare I try to go back down to that cabin and see if I can find anything out? Dare we, guys? right now it feels like the our objective is essentially just to fix this place up a little bit okay so if we want to find jewels the mirror we're gonna have to climbing gear though i don't have climbing gear so essentially we got to get there so i don't even know if that's an option to go that way so if anything i'm thinking we're gonna have to go this way she said that the main entrance would be closed and we would probably need our climbing gear uh i don't have climbing gear though so the question is, what's the path that I take? Do I go this way? Or is she saying that I have to like climb up over here? Because this looks more like a direction that we would have to climb. Well then, uh, climbing gear. Or if there's anything in there that we can use. Oh, there's a truck too. Puppy, can you come too? I'd feel safer with a pooch with me. It also, sled dog, sled dog. Wait, why are they mar why are they marked? Actually, I was wondering. We used a truck in the last game to get around. How do we get around this? A truck or sled dogs? Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's a pure white one. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, buddy. Take the bus. Sure, that's going to be super effective. There's another one over here. Oh, hey, little puppy. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, buddy. Oh. Stuck in a trap and everything. Now, what's this? Yes, please. So it's one, two, three dogs so far. How many is inside of a uh, dog sled team typically? What, eight? That's that's a pretty typical dog sled team size. Yeah, I think so. I apologize now. If the Wendigo pops out of one of these trees at me, I am going to yell. I apologize now. I gotta say, this is eerie. This is... I don't even think they're trying to go for, like, pure terrifying horror or anything like that. They just did good making this scary. Hmm? Am I? Okay, there's another one up there. 
So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Beat it. <clears throat> what you digging for, bud? I'm taking it. Maybe I'm not supposed to be talking to the dogs yet. Maybe I need to do something else before I can start putting them all together for a dog sled team. I found six so far. Unless it's either six or eight. One of the two. Well, it's about everything up here, so... Okay, so I found six pooches. Alrighty then. But I don't have a sled. Yet. Mm. Alright, we got more spare parts, so we can go work on this thing now. But for the dog sled team... <clears throat> we found six doggies? So now the question is, is that all we need? And then do we just have to find a sled? You know what? Let's fix the, um, let's fix the power. Heck yeah. So we fixed the water, we fixed a window. We still got one more window left to fix. Uh, we do not have enough parts, so we need how much? Okay, dare I... There was this cabin here. I have a feeling that I want to go check it out. I'm, I'm going to look around a little more here to see if there's any more dogs or the sled. For at least, like, the shortest I'll go is three hours. I might go longer. Oh, hey, here's the sled. That would be more handsome. Hey! I take offense to that. <clears throat> Charlotte, je suis venue ici avec mes chiens puis mon père. C'est des chiens prénoms. Why you are? I know, right, AJ? Thank you. So. <clears throat> je suis venue avec mon petit père. On a entendu le message de Madame Françoise pendant la tempête, alors on a appelé le train. C'est vous qui avez peur. Les adultes, vous vous promenez avec vos faces d'enterrement comme si soudainement la neige était la chose la plus dangereuse au monde. C'est Okay, dog treats. Cool. Clumsy today. Apparently, cool. Thank you very much for that sunburn. Okay, so this is the part where we have to go and find the poochies. Well, doggo number 10 is up there. Well, that's me being Mr. Explorer, going finding all the dogs before I have to go find all the dogs. Ah, uh, doggo. <clears throat> dog sled team, dog sled team. <clears throat> Eat a pig's ear, doggo. I got something better than that old squirrel. Here, have a pig's ear. <clears throat> Carl Faubert became pensive <clears throat> in front of the now assembled pack. The genealogy of these dogs could lead us back to time immemorial. Throughout the millennia, from litter to litter, they had never failed to guide man through a hostile nature. Let's get our sled on, so to speak. <laughs> All right. Il y a Henryville, mais c'est un peu mort. Ils ont tous évacué à cause qu'il y a eu une grosse avalanche. 
Sinon, il y a la mine, mais il y a plein de clôtures autour. Super. Moi, j'ai fini de réparer le traîneau si vous voulez aller vous promener. Mais je vous le dis, il va falloir faire attention, hein. Les arbres, y arrivent vite. Yo! Ha 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 ha! 